do appreciate it. And for the people that haven't gotten it or on the fence of buying it, now it's time to buy it, guys. I'm going to hit, go ahead and do a, a half off promotion for the rest of the month. Give you 50% off the course. Um, for those who kind of on the fence or didn't have the money available to buy it, now hopefully it's going to be a lot. What is up, Innovation Family? Back for another video. It's me, your host, your neighbor, your friend, uh, Brandon from Innovation Property Atlanta. Back for another video. As always, remember to like the video, subscribe to the video, or I should say the channel, and hit the notification button for the next video. Um, today's video, or I should say another update, is gonna be on the 2018 red Camaro convertible. I probably did about maybe three or four videos already, guys, on the red Camaro. So I'm sure you guys are probably um, sick of talking about the red Camaro. But again, this is part of business and give you guys the updates. So the Camaro was just recently out the body shop, probably about a week and a half, two weeks ago, when it had the front end damage. And I got the check for that one, so I was able to get that um, paid. Get that one got paid out from the insurance company. Uh, the client had her own personal insurance she used to get that one paid out. Finally got that check. And lo and behold, over the weekend, um, I had a client who rented the red Camaro and they got into a fender bender. Fender bender. They said it was a hit and run. Is that true or not? I don't know. But either way, it has damage, needs to be fixed. So when it comes to you, when your car is getting into accidents or things, things happen, you always want to ask your clients for police reports, any documentation like pictures, the other person's information who was in the accident. If they can't present that or have that information, then you probably know it's a lot of fabrication in the story uh, when it comes to the hit and runs or somebody back to them, whatever. It really is not that complex when it comes to car accidents, when it's just two cars and you do the right steps by calling the police and you document everything. It really ain't that complex. When you hear stories about people who didn't give a police reports or people who, you know, was a hit and run or whatever, it's probably a little suspect or sketchy. And maybe either they weren't driving or they were in the car for somebody else or they didn't want it to be documented. Um, so there's a lot that goes on to it. But as a host, that's not your concern. You're not, con you're not concerned with being an FBI agent or a police report or a police officer. Your job is to get your vehicle fixed. Make sure you get reimbursed for anything that you put out your pocket for the vehicle so you can get back up and running as soon as possible because you're running a business. So therefore you wanna make sure that your car is fixed properly and ready for the next clients once it is fixed. So don't be too bogged down to the details of when it comes to the clients and the stories and what, what they're gonna tell you. 90% of the time it's gonna be lies if it's not straightforward, guys. I'm just gonna be honest with you when it comes to the Turo fleet. They'll tell you just about everything. Um, just to make sure that you're still cool from and you're not mad. I always tell my clients, I'm never going to be mad at you. Just let me know what happens. So this way I can prepare myself. We can get the car fixed. And the day, they're still responsible for it no matter what. So whether through Turo Insurance or their own personal, they got to pay a deductible. So the way to get around it, guys. So don't get caught up in the weeds, the lies, the details. Just make sure you get your, um, you know, your insurance together as far as getting the car fixed and getting it back in the fleet, guys. So the red Camaro um, has some back damage in the passenger back. Um, it's nothing too crazy, just a couple dents and along with the scratches. Probably gonna be about a thousand, fifteen hundred dollars get fixed. So that's hopefully once the insurance pays out, that'll pretty much cover it up that you know that damage as far as getting that taken care of and we'll get it back in the fleet. So it'll probably be down for maybe a week, two weeks or so max, and then we'll have it back back in the fleet probably by the end of the month, if not sooner. So Again, you know, this stinks. I don't want to have to make videos on the same car over and over again, but again, we're going to document everything so you guys can see the steps, the growth, the development from the time I started my YouTube channel up until, you know, where we're at now. In the next couple of years, you'll see all the different things that go along so you guys can learn from my mistakes and the mistakes of others. So stay tuned for the next video. You guys have a good day. I appreciate it. Thank you. I'm a real one, my day one. Try to speak up, can't say none. Try to dig dirt, there ain't none. I make the money that save up. 10 to 80, my savings. Take the top on the baseline. New car, racing. Fast lane, pacing. With the boo, y'all, that's a flex. Not human, I ain't from another planet. I'ma teleport, might vanish. I'm a